Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Octopath Traveler. As you might remember last time, we got Ophelia out of her hometown and got to here, Swaki, and also to Atlasdam. Uh, we haven't actually met with Harnit or Cyrus yet, we're about to meet with Harnit now. Uh, I didn't do any level grinding, like, off camera this particular time. We only have the one character yet, so it's not super important. And also, I, I was playing Dragon Quest Builders 2. It's amazing. So good. Anyway, um, so yeah, we're still level 7. Um, that should be fine, I think. I don't think that should be a problem. That should be an okay level to be at. You can see our recommended level for Swarky is 5, so we should be fine. Uh, anyway, we're gonna meet with Harnet now and start her story. So, here we go. Uh, we'll go talk to her over here. I understand it not. For what, for what reason would such a beast come to our woods? Doth this herald some greater ill that comes our way? Her name is Harnet, and she is a hunter. One of the last descendants of a proud and ancient clan. She makes her home here in Swaki, deep in the deep, dark wood. This seasoned huntress roams the forests with Lind, her fast friend, though her mind often turns to her master, who left the village one year ago on a dangerous hunt from which he has yet to return. When a local noble came seeking aid, she answered the call and was tasked with hunting a vicious beast that plagues the nearby forests. And so she makes for the Whisperwood with her law companion Lin to her side. She will need fierce allies in the path she has chosen. Party members, find comrades and add them to your party. Seek out your fellow travellers and they will ask you for your help. Complete chapter one of their story and they will join you on your journey. After chapter one, you can change your party members at the tavern. Take Harnet along? Travel to other areas may be restricted until you complete certain tasks. Yes. Hear the beginning of the tale? Yes. Um, basically, the way this works is, um, the, like, opening cutscenes for this character can be skipped. Uh, you only need to see those cutscenes for your starting character. I believe I skipped all of the beginning of the tale for all of the characters, so this stuff is new to me as well. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna hear Harnet's tale now, so let's go. One year ago. Good. Thou hast yet to depart. Waylaid by sentiment, my girl. It did ill behooven me to leave without bidding my favorite prentice a fare thee well. A joke, as always. Will thy journey be long, master? Ah, uh, a good question, that. The request cometh from none other than the knights are doubt. The hunt would take us to distant lands, and the beast we pursue is a fearsome one. I see. Ha ha ha! Look and not so glum, girl! A new tyro with green arrows and bruises on his bow arm? I'll do the deed. Still no smile? What is it, my girl? Tis not the hunt that concerneth me. Thou intendest to stop and off somewhere along the way. <gasps> oh, here and there, mayhap. Why dost thou ask? Thou forgettest or feignst ignorance, so I will remind thee. On the last hunt, thou gambledest away thy purse, and came back a poorer man than thou left. Poorer in coin, mayhap. Yes, I did make a few wagers at the arena in Victor's Hollow. And learned that while I have a keen eye for assessing the strength of beasts, I am quite at a loss with men. A valuable lesson that was cheaply bought. 
so cheap in the end. Eliza had to pay him thy debts, and thou only finished its paying her back this last moon. Promise him, Master. No more foolish gambling. <laughs> but what of the old hunters saying? If the first arrow faileth, knock a second, try again. Thou just madest that one up. Come now, girl. Thou art too young by half for such world-weary sighs. Must thou makest our parting so gloomy? I turn to thee, Hagen. Look in after Master, for he can rarely be bothered to look in after himself. Takest her side against me, old friend? He knoweth good sense when he heareth it. <laughs> Growlest thou not at me, thou faithless turncoat? Hail, Hanit. Have you come to see us off? I have come in to warn Master about straying from the path. And I thank you for it. I do not have the leaves to pay another debt like that. Have I not a single ally in this infernal village? I am your friend, but I am also a knight Ardant, and your client. You would do well not to forget this. Not for a moment, most honorable Lady Eliza of the illustrious Knights Ardant. That's more like it. This is pretty adorable. Um, I thought it was interesting that Eliza doesn't have the, like, old English dialect that everyone else does. I'm not quite sure why that is, because she seems to be from the same village as everyone else, but... I, I, I don't know, I guess she's visiting because she's one of the Knights Ardant, but I'm not sure. It's a bit vague. Fear not. I'll keep him out of trouble. I'll have him fill his evenings penning a detailed account of our adventures on the hunt. Taken care, and may thine arrows strike true. I shall look after the forest till the day of thy return. Why did you spell look with an E if you're not going to pronounce it any differently? <laughs> Thank thee, my girl, and farewell. Yeah, this, this whole English dialect is very silly. I think that's deliberate. I think it's supposed to sound a little bit ridiculous. Which is good because it does. Since that day. In all that time, Master could only be bothered to send in a single letter. Harnet, tis me thou revered Master. Mrs. me? I'm sure the voice clip said thou revered Master instead of thy. Interesting. I won't bore thee with any blather about the weather or the season. Who knoweth when this will even arrive, after all? For three months now, I have pursued the trail of the beast sodden by the Knights Ardant. A beast by the name of Red Eye. That's their name for it, leastwise. As for its true name, if it even hath one, none can say. But on my father's bow, I swear, tis the most vexing quarry I've ever had the misfortune to hunt. It eludes my every trap, and though thou may think of me mad for saying this, I swear it can even sense of every move I make. Creepy. I know not if it is human intelligence or pure animal instinct, but either way, it refuseth to be caught. Still, we appear to have annoyed it sufficiently that it is moving on to new pastures. Judging from its behavior, I believe it meaneth to make for the lands around Stoneguard. I will be frank with thee, my girl, who thou'st always been able to see through my pretenses. 
The chase will be hard, and the hunt will not endeth soon. But fear not, for endeth it shall, as thou ever knowest your master to fail in the hunt. And so I ask thee, my dear apprentice, pray look after the village until I return. Oh, and be not a worry, Wart. Always thy friend and teacher, Zanta. Never heard Master admitteth that any hunt would be difficult. Either this red eye is truly the most formidable of beasts, or he stoppeth in every gambler's den from here to Stone Guard. But no, Master liketh to act in the fool. But when it cometh to hunting, if he saith he will catcheth his quarry, then catcheth it he will. <sighs> yes, I know. Master entrusted the safety of the village to me. My duty now is to the villagers. Come in. Let him us visit in the headman and see if anyone hath need of my bow. Okay, so that's how in its opening cutscene. We can now control her, move her around and stuff. We can't leave the town yet uh, because we have to do her first chapter. And I believe Ophelia will be joining us part way through because she is here. We're still in flashback mode at the moment, even though it doesn't look like a flashback anymore. Uh, so we need to go over here and talk to the headman. Um, we won't save, maybe we will. No, we won't. I am haunted. So yeah, the voicing the voicing is gone now. This cutscene I have to read out. Headman, how might how might my bow serve you today? Hello. Every day thou comest here seeking work. Sometimes I wonder if thou art truly thy master's prentice. But jesting aside, no, there is no hunt today. I see. Is there aught else I might do? Do, do, do we? <laughs> I think it's just do, but it has an E for some reason. The dialect is weird. Well, the youngsters are always in need of lessons. Thou couldst give them, given them a lesson or two in bowmanship. The clan of the dark would inherited the lore of the beasts in the trees. Yet today, only thou and Zanta can truly useth that lore. Why, when I was a mere stripling? <laughs> yes, yes, I have heard your stories before, and I know how long they are. <laughs> oh, long-winded tales of the vice of many an old man. My apologies, child. But if thou couldst show in the youngsters the way of the hunt, I would be grateful. I'm asking you. I saw two of them waiting eagerly in the square. Perhaps thou couldst, couldst start in with them. Yes. It will be done. Okay, so yeah, we have a little bit of questing to do, as just Harnet. Path actions, utilize each character's unique action to overcome any obstacle. Try pressing Y in front of a townsperson. Harnet can use beasts to provoke people into battle. So yeah, we need to provoke these youngsters over here. Oh, that's a cool feature. You know, I can do that. Provoke. Yes. Go forth, my friend. Training time, is it? I am ever ready. Now, let us hunt him. So yeah, we have a quick little battle. Uh, yeah, we don't have any actual weapons at the moment. We can summon our beasts, so we'll summon Lind. <laughs> this is one of Hunt's major abilities in this game. The ability to summon various monsters to help her fight. Because she's a hunter, and she can capture monsters and stuff. Pretty handy. Did I just kill that guy? Ugh. Now then. Thou growest adept at fighting. So. But thou must be more cautious than ever, for thou now knowest just enough to get thyself into trouble. Oh. Uh, I will. Thank thee, Harnet. I'm gonna provoke the other one as well.
Go forth, my friend. Pray teaching me, Huntress Harnet. Standest thou against me? Then be hunted. Let in the hunt begin. I'm gonna do basically the same thing. I'm gonna summon wind. This is very, very easy because there's not much you can do at this point. May as well just summon wind over and over until the enemies are defeated. I'm not sure if you can boost haste summons. Chess. Hmm. Thou didst fight his approach. Anyway, we're level two now, so that's handy. That'll help us out. Um. <sighs> well. Well, dost thou feel more tuned to thy surroundings? Uh, yeah. Yes, I feel much more able at anticipating where Swift Quarry might dart us next. Excellent. Very good. An important lesson, that. Okay, so that's that done. Hello there! <laughs> Cute. Huntress Harnet! Hmm? What is it? Um, well, really... The headman sent me to find thee. He said I must speaketh with thee right away. Understood. Then I will make haste. He is at home, I take it. <laughs> these, these voice clips for this little girl are adorable. Yes, follow me. Hmm. An urgent hunt, mayhap. Greetings, Headman. You wish to wish to wish to see me? <laughs> oh, her dark is throwing me off. Headman, you wish to see me? Yes, our quest hath come in from the Demesne Demes Demes of Lord Ciaran. <laughs> oh my god. It would seem a beast hath hath strayed into his provincial forest. I see. And he will it gone. Hmm. Just so, he asketh for our best hunter. And while Master Zanta is off on the hunt, that meaneth thee. Hmm. Understood. I'm asking you. Always remember, Harnet, since time immemorial, ours has been a village of great hunters and huntresses. Ah, uh, the two genders? <laughs> is, it, is a huntress a thing? <laughs> or is it just hunter, regardless of gender? Yes, far and wide, beyond the edges of the Darkwood, our home. Hmm. The bard sangeth of our exploits, and all the realm lord of fair Swaki is the home of the true hunter. Is that not how it went? Egads! Ho oh, oh, ho, have I told it that many times? Long-winded tales, my dear. <laughs> ah, the vice of an old man, yes. As for the hunt, I am ready when needed. Splendid! Excellent. Lord Zeron's messenger awaiteth inside. He will telleth thee all thou needs to know. I am ready. I will speak to him at once. I'm asking ye. Harnet, prithee do not, Master Zanta, would thee... Prithee do, do not... Oh, do not, Master Zanta, would thee not. Okay, don't do anything he wouldn't do. Yeah. That's such weird phrasing. <laughs> Fair befallen thee. Of course. Thank ye. Well met. My apologies for the urgency of the matter, but monsters pay little heed to the convenience of men. Nay. I am here to serve. Telling me more about this beast. Eh. Your quarry is to be a fearsome beast that has wandered into the Whisperwood from the gods nowhere. Mm. A monster that hath strayed from its home. Yes. Aye. Just this morning, a merchant and an injured companion fetched up at our manor in frightful shape. As one man told it, the other was in no condition to speak. Their caravan had been waylaid by the beast, and they were the only survivors. This boat is Ill. How dost thou know when this creature was responsible? Well, actually... Lord Ciron's scholars were called upon to investigate the matter. From the merchant's testimony, they concluded the men were attacked by a savage beast known as the Gisama. Truly. I 
have heard of this creature. Its baleful roar would make it an unlikely fit for the tranquil Whisperwood. His lordship is most anxious to protect his subjects, needless to say. He seeks the help of the most capable hunter in this village, and so, in Master Zanta's absence, we turn to you. What say you, Harnet? Will you free our fair province of this unholy menace? I am ready. Tell him thy lord that I shan't fail him. Indeed. There is a dignity about you that Master Zanta lacks, but I see you share his passion for your calling. I hope you will continue to inherit only his better qualities. <laughs> <laughs> Master is a fine teacher. He showeth by example both what a hunter oughteth and oughteth not to do in. <laughs> well said. It would seem we are in safe hands indeed. Yes, thou art. That was cute. And so I must do my duty and hunt the beast. Okay, so that's the end of the flashback. I think we could skip all of that by choosing no to hear the beating of the tail. So this is where we're up to now, where she's telling Ophelia about it. Thine offer is a generous one, yet the path ahead is fraught with danger. How curious. Lynn judgeth thee worthy. It is not, not often she warmeth the strangers. I shall accept in thy own offer, lend, in thee, lend in me thy strength in battle. The monster hath been sighted in the Whisperwood, it is there that we must go. Harnet joined the party. Okay, so now you can see that Harnet follows us around. Uh, we can't leave town yet. If we try, there'll be a sign over there saying we can't go that way. I don't think this is where I should be going at the moment. See? So we have to go and do the rest of chapter one, but we have Ophelia to help us out. Uh, who is much stronger than Harnet is at this point because we've leveled her up on the way. So that's helpful. Um, I think I'll cut the video off there. Uh, like I did with Ophelia's story, I just want to get the story in the video and then the actual chapter gameplay I can put in the next one. Uh, we're only 22 minutes in, but I feel like it'd be better to cut it into two videos at this point regardless. So yeah. Next time we'll, we'll head into the Whisperwood and find a monster, I guess. <laughs> anyway, let's save here. Boop. You can see on our save file we now have Ophelia and Harnet. And next time we go that way to go into the Whisperwood. <laughs>